Payment Alliance Solutions Center, how may I help you? Welcome to PAI DIY. This week we're going to cover programming a Gen Mega on direct internet for the FIS Processing Network. Without further ado, let's jump right in. When you first power on your Gen Mega, this will be the screen that you see. So go to Key Management, input Secure Password 1, all zeros, Secure Password 2, all zeros, and change password one. Verify. Change password two. Verify. Change password successful. It's going to count down the timer. Go back to key management, new passwords, we do want to say yes to this, switch to operation mode, yes. Now we can start programming, go to OP, all fives, enter, go to ATM OP. Customer setup, change processor. We're going to set our communication to SSL length prefix with ETX. Message format standard three, that's perfect. SSL data format should show eight bits. Reversal on host error should show as enable. Now we go to SSL on the right. Version is TLS 1.2. We want to enable the SSL certification. Now we can cancel back. Go to standard three option. We want to disable the communication header. And we want to disable use TCP IP CRC. The only thing enabled is status monitored. Go ahead and cancel back twice to customer setup. Now we go to optional function, EMV. EMV is enabled. So we go to default aid, press the enable disable button, number one, enter, and it disables. We're gonna do the same for numbers two and six. Now one, two, and six are disabled. Go ahead and cancel, cancel, cancel. Now we go to surcharge mode. Surcharge mode is enabled. Now we set our owner. We're gonna do P, A, I. We're gonna do a space, D, I, Y. Enter. We set our amount. 250. Enter. So we are all good here. Cancel. Cancel. Now we go to system setup. Set clock. Make sure date and time are correct. We can adjust if needed. We're good here, cancel out. Now we go to serial number. Verify the serial number that's input here matches the one on the interior cabinet wall. Once you've verified that, cancel back. Go to change password. We're gonna do operator. Enter. Verify. Change OK. Now we do service. Enter. Verify. And now our master.
all of our passwords are changed. Cancel. Go to device setup. ATM TCP IP setup. We want to make sure we are in DHCP, which we already are, and we are pulling an IP address. So cancel, cancel, cancel. Go to transaction setup. Looks like we already defaulted to our 20s, so we are good here. Cancel. Now go to host setup. ATM host. First place we're going in here is routing ID. All zeros, we're good. Cancel. Then terminal number. Change terminal number. And in alphabet upper, we input our two letters and then number special. Now we input our numbers and enter. Cancel. Now, host IP address. Go to change host IP number one, alphabet lower, type in E, F, T, debit, A, T, M, dot, zero twice, F, N, F, I, S, dot, C, O, M, E, F, T, debit, A, T, M, dot, F, N, F, I, S, dot com, and enter. It inputs into both address one and two, so we go to change host port number one, input four, four, three, and enter. And it pulled them into both port one and two. So configuration is set to scheduled, so we're good. Cancel out. We'll go to key management. These are the passwords we set when we first started and initialized the keypad. So we're in, we are in TDES, so we're good there. So now we're gonna go to edit key, master key A, zero, one, and enter. Here's our on-screen guide. Let's enter in our envelopes. Inject key successful, press enter to return, and master key B. Again, zero, one, enter. There's our on-screen guide. Let's enter in our B key. Input key successful, enter. Cancel, go to check key, there's our combined total. So let's cancel back to our main menu. Go to settlement, set cassette, set cassette one, input our bill count. Again, this is the number of notes, not how much the money is worth. Press enter, cancel, cancel. See right below operator functions, all zeros, so no errors. So we cancel, cancel. And there's our welcome screen. Insert your card and check your balance. 
We hope you found this video guide on programming GenMega Terminals on Direct Internet for FIS informative. If you have any questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to call the Payment Alliance Solutions Center. The phone number is down in the description below. Please give us a thumbs up if you think we're doing a good job so we can continue to give you more content. And get subscribed so that future content doesn't go missed. Thanks again. See you next time.